watching. We're going to start with the data scraping for this application. Uh, I'll have the URLs as a um, live link in the in the index for you to have quick access to. Essentially, we're going to navigate to this page. The scraping tool is going to select the the newest date, which in this case would be 3/24/2015. It will click on HTML detail. And then what it's going to do is going to scrape every new name change, the, the number here. So after the MC, it's going to scrape those numbers and then the title um, and the cited. So it's going to scrape all this, but we, I want to have the MC separated from the, th from the, name the, the number here. You're going to see why here. This is important in a second. It's also going to go down and scrape the certificate permit license. And we're going to scrape the number as well as the title and published on it as well, too. So this can be scraped into a CSV file. Um, we're going to do the certification of registration, and that is it for this list. All right. So we're going to scrape those into like a CSV file, and then the tool, the software, is going to take each one of these numbers and run it through this database here at the US Department of Transportation, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. So it's going to input the, the value here. It's going to select MC forward slash MX number. It's going to do a search. And then we're going to scrape all the relevant data in these, in these tables. Each one of these must have its own column or cell. So these are operation cert, cert classification. Um, need to have these independent. Okay. Carrier operations will be scraped. Cargo carry will be scraped as well. That's all, all we need for now. All right, so then it takes all that information and it puts it into a, a CSV for us to upload into Infusionsoft. Um, I will, after this is done, we do checking on the tables to make sure uh, the information is correct. We'll then have the software automatically upload into Infusionsoft, like I said before. Um, we'll go through those steps when we get there after the data is verified. Um, once this da da the data is verified and everything is working how we want it, then you'll finish the software to automatically do the upload. And I'll show you really quickly how we go about doing that. Um, import data. Context, and then we upload. So I will download this CSV file for importing contacts. So you have this as a resource as well. All right, if you have any questions, send us a chat. Thank you so much.